Hi and welcome to another Artful Planet DIY video. Today I'm going to show you how I use my dashboard Now, I use my dashboard to hold post-it notes and I put it in a place closest to the month so that the post-it notes are close at hand so I don't always have to go into my stationery box with all my planner things. Now, I stuck some of these post-it notes down, but some of them are struggling to stay on the dashboard, except for these. These seem to have a good hold, but the rest of them, if I turn the dashboard, they would probably fall off. So, I wanted to see which adhesive would be better for sticking them onto but making them easy to remove from the planner. So I have some double sided tape and some PVA glue. So I'm going to try PVA glue on the small ones but just a, a slight amount and double sided tape on some of the bigger ones. I'm just putting a small amount because I don't want it to be too much. Just enough so that it doesn't fall off. And hopefully this will also make it strong enough so when I'm pulling off a post-it note it doesn't come off either. Now I'm not putting too much double sided tape behind it, just in the middle. So I'm just gonna very small amount and cut it into strips. Hopefully that should stay and I also wanted to try doing that on some other post-it notes in this little folder. Now I got this for Christmas a few years ago and it came with this notepad so you could just you can take it off or just write on it and it came with these post-it notes and some of these post-it notes I put on my dashboard, some of my favourites. So I got this, these travel post-it notes for when I went to the US. And this notepad. But the post-it notes aren't sticking very well to the acetate. So I was going to try using double-sided tape and PVA glue on some of these and a few of these little tiny ones here which just aren't staying in place whatsoever I'm going to do the big ones first And on these, I think I will use some PVA glue, see how that works. Now I'm making sure to put 
the glue on the part of this post-it note that's already sticky so I don't confuse myself. So other ways you can use your dashboard is you can have some paper clips on here. So I have quite a few. So I have this magnetic one, which is quite cool. There's a few more paper clips. I have these ones which is quite good I guess for pinning down ideas because they're light bulbs. These apples could be used to remind you of some healthy things you're supposed to eat. These are just really cute, I like these. And then you can use the back as a whiteboard. So I have this whiteboard pen. You can write notes. Yeah. You can write your ideas. You can plan out something. You can do whatever you want with this whiteboard bit.
and then of course you can easily rub it off you can rub it off with a whiteboard rubber of course or but because I don't have one I just use a paper towel and you just rub it off nice and easy because it's laminated so you can even clip a notepad to the back though I'll probably pull some pages off you can use the ball clip from here on though I'll probably pull off a few pages you know or if you just want a few pages to write on you just peel some off and clip it on to make use of that and then of course you can use it to keep places in your planner and before we put it in the planner you can see that from me turning it the double sided tape and the PVA glue has worked quite well to keep some of them down So you can just keep it in your calendar, your weekly planner pages. I keep these post-it notes in between the weeks that I'm using because I've colour coded some of my to-dos and then I changed my menu planner box to a to-do one as well because I don't use that spot so I know exactly what I'm looking at as soon as you have to open it then of course this can just be moved and put wherever I want it so I think I'll put the dashboard behind the planner leaks the weekly planners so that it doesn't get in the way of anything and if I want to move it again I always can I think it's just here I know exactly where it is because of all the paper clips I've put on it and then yeah so that's how I would use my dashboard, you know, post-it notes, paper clip holder, whiteboard, planner sometimes, and you can even clip a pen on if you like, you know I have this pen, stretchy pen, and you can clip this on. you always have a pen and of course you can also clip this pen anywhere really you can clip it in between here and then take it off I keep this in my box but if I'm taking my planner anyway, then I'll clip the pen in. But yeah. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and got some ideas on how to use a dashboard. Um, I may change this up so that I can punch here. So I can use this as a mini dashboard as well. If I'm travelling with this so I have my travel post-it notes at hand and then I can just clip it in wherever I want in my planner and yeah so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and please join me again for another Artful Planner DIY video bye